Guys, my name is Kojo Sheldon. I know, I keep saying my name is Kojo Sheldon. Yes, the people know, but I have to, every day I have to remind them that my name is Kojo Sheldon and the head is big for what? A reason. Why people see you in time and go like, the head is big for a reason? You don't know my name? Come on, man. The head, why are you shouting? Do you think I, there is no reason. Why are you shouting, bro? The head is big for a reason. What, what is the reason? I don't know if you ask me. But I do have people for cool down. My name is Sheldon. And uh, is Sheldon, not Sheldon. Not shedding. It's not shut down. It's not shedding. You people for respect yourselves. <laughs> I'm joking, no, I'm joking. But anyway, what are they come the story are they come talk about or are they come rant about now? It be uplifting and it be brilliant initiative. And I know say by the time I am done talking about it, you will question the leadership in your country. But from where are they sit, I don't think we would ever experience something like this. No. Never. I mean, hopefully we, we experience, but I don't think we would ever experience. So I'll just have to sit here and give them fans. Because for a pres president to come out, to tell his people, say, this year, we are not going to do this. It is a waste of money. Rather, let us channel the money into building schools and dormitories for people where they need them. You know, my Boston. This is not the first time. This is the second time. They keep doing and I feel like other African countries should take a cue from it, should learn from it. Because, for, for example, in this country, we, we they waste money on things where you know they need. Wastage. Let me read a story. Tanzania scraps independence celebration, divert fans to kids. Tanzania's president, Samia Su Suluhu Hassan, has cancelled Independence Day celebrations, scheduled for Friday, and directed that the budget instead be used to build dormitories for children with special needs. Oh, God. Let me take that. Let me, let me read it again for the cool down for the people at the back. The people at the back. Open your ears. Tanzania's president, Samia Suluhu Hassan, Suluhu Hassan, has cancelled Independence Day celebrations, scheduled for Friday, and directed that the budget instead be used to build dormitories for children with special needs. I really have to read that line. I have to read it. Tanzania's president, Samia Su Su Suluhu Hassan, has cancelled Independence Day celebration, scheduled for Friday, and directed that the budget be used to build dormitories for children with special needs. I hope the people at the back, they heard it. I mean, I don't say people carry locks enter your ears, so you don't go here, but this one there, Muntia Bube The 61st Independence Day event was to cost $445,000. Money that will be used to build eight dormitories in primary schools around the country. The 61st Independence Day event was to cost $445,000. That money will be used to build eight dormitories in primary schools around the country. Tanzania's Minister of State, George Simbakwe, on Monday said that money had been dispersed. Uh, disper sorry. He said that instead of having parades, listen, there are people at the back. Mm. He said that instead of having parades and other national celebrations, the East African country will commemorate Independence Day by having public dialogues on development. He said that instead of having kids parade on the street in this hot sun, left, head, right, head, head, they, this, they collapse. Instead of doing all this nonsense, listen, he said that instead of having parades and other national celebrations, the East African country will commemorate Independence Day by having public dialogues on development. And I quote, the debates and conferences will be preceded by various schedules for regional and district leaders to carry out social activities in different areas, including cleaning hospitals, schools, elderly homes, and groups with special needs, he said. This is a country where the leadership you know, they, they understand the needs of the people. They put the needs of the people out there above what political and parochial interest. Usually, Independence Day celebrations are marked with pomp and state banquets. This is not har this this is not, however, the first time Tanzania has cancelled the celebration. In 2015, the president, uh, the then president John Magufuli, 
cancelled celebration and diverted funds towards the building of road in the commercial capital, Dar es Salaam. In 2020, he did same and directed that the budget and directed that the budget be used to buy medical facilities. The current president, Hassan, is Tanzania's first female head of state. She previously drew attention by ordering big bellied policemen to lose weight to be more effective at work. We can't argue. <laughs> uh, decades before she rose to higher office, she worked as a development officer in Zanzibar government. She was also a project manager for UN's World Food Program. And later, okay, okay, this one just be accolades. Small country. I see instead of going to do left, right, take, step, forward, right. A who here? A who here, bro? A who here? Instead of doing that, let us sit down and have national dialogue. What is the way forward on developmental issue? On top of that, you know, four hundred and forty-five uh, thousand dollars. No, no. Let us build dormitories. Someone with leadership. Yet here is a cathedral. Hmm. Nyankupon or Surian Fiero. Ye see there, man was as a so. Ye can't, my young can't. You people want to politicize. Have you seen what they are doing? Where Nigeria and eh, eh, Ghana, they have left the group chat. They can't relate to this. This is not the first time. They have been doing it. You see? This is leadership. That is why when I start, I said, I don't think this can be replicated here. No, no, bro. Come on, bro. Now, $445,000 cry, I'll be, be small here. Oh, and I see here, they owe the old cry, the $445,000. They, yeah, they are chill them. Take that shoe. Here, one billion, one billion thousand. Here, this country, uh, on my way, $445,000. They say, hey, be. Oh, and then, uh, here, they will out budget it. No, oh, be a baby. Now, Kuala in the room. Left, right. Collapse. We, a real system. Sunday, squatch them. All for what? Celebrating my independence. Also, also, so I went to France, edge, edge, you What is the point of your independence when you can't even take care of your own affairs? What are you celebrating? Look at a country with thoughtful leadership. But see now, we can use the money to build dormitories for people when they need them. Let us channel the money. Let us use the money for that. Instead of putting kids on the street, pump, pump and pageantry, parade, you know they need. Let us sit, start from the district level. Everybody, sh let us have a national dialogue. That is how you build a country. That is how you take care of your people. That is how you put your people's needs and interest above your party and political interest. Here, forget it. As I said, I don't think we would ever experience something like this. Never in our... I don't know. If we experience it, I will come and sit here and applaud them. Why not? I will applaud. But I don't think it will ever happen. Because what we are experiencing right now, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You see, what am I a team? Tanzania, only in Europe. Hey, yeah. The thing is about leadership. 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 The late President John Magufuli, he did that. The predecessor, the obedi na di anibaya, the same thing. It's like a blueprint. Aha. Mr. $445,000 in the area. Ah, my people for you. What are you doing? When they vex me, they finish and they go add holiday on top. <laughs> Unproductive ass niggas, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm not against Independence Day celebration. But you see how people are getting innovative about it. I've always been against the fact that kids they go, bro, a real woman, I'm a 
Ghana, we are to show Sanana where to tap 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 tap. Now, Kalane, who tell you, no, are they? We can do this. We can do this, but it is just a matter of having a thoughtful leadership in the realm of affairs. Is it realm or helm? I don't care, bro. At this point, English serve no concern me. Is it helm? Helm of affairs, shall they cool down? Quite sure they listen to you. And yes, shouts to them. Shouts to bro. It's a hanum. Abadam. Tiat you by heart. Noise pollution. <laughs> okay, so this video is brought to you by what? Um, Ghana to the Moon Business and Technology Conference, or they are saying. And this year, you know, the theme then you providing access to information, resources, and relationship to the younger professionals of Ghana. Uh, while creating a pipeline for recruitment with partner companies in Ghana and abroad. And we have uh, in attendance, and we have what, six universities, 150 students, and 300 participants. What, two days of panels, bro? You can't afford to miss this. And you see, uh, some of these conferences, you know, it'd be, it be their way, it build you, it expose you to new things, to new ideas, to new concepts, to new perspectives. That be where you go figure your job. That way you go meet your business part partners. The young ones will be they come, no, bro. This, this, I'm not a young person, please. The young ones will be who they come, no, please. Uh, this, this you, you, you can't afford to miss some of these things. So make sure, say, you go follow the information on the flyer. If you want to uh, make a donation, uh, there is a website on the flyer. Just log on and make a donation and follow. Just if you want to be informed about what is happening, I just click on it. But I, as I said, it'd be 9th to 10th. And you don't have much time. So prepare and be part of this um, experience. What do you see? Ghana to the moon. Mm. Maybe me if I go pass through. I really for pass through, then go listen to people with my ideas and things. I'm out.